We've set up this garden to mirror the structure of the thymus. So we'll move from the outermost subcapsular zone to the cortex and then into the medulla at the center. Then we'll finish with the paths T cells can take once they've grown up a little bit. If we had sketchy smell vision we'd missed a bunch of time scent right now because this isn't any old garden, it's the time garden since T cells mature in the thymus or thymus. Stem cells migrate from the bone marrow to the thymus to start their development into naive T cells. And so you'll see on this side of the sketch a whole bunch of brand new baby seedling stems to remind you of those stem cells. The T cell precursor at its youngest stage is said to be double negative because these thymocytes lack both CD4 and CD8 surface molecules. So we've got this doubly negative, no eating, no drinking sign here in the outermost ring of the garden. And this is all happening even a little outside the cortex, in the subcapsular zone. Now, these baby soldiers don't look too happy about this role, but let's face it, toddler's gonna toddle. And that's really just further proof that they're double negative and immature. But like toddlers, these thymocytes are growing. They're twisting and contorting and uh, rearranging themselves as they move toward the next stage. This represents the beginning of the T-cell receptor, or TCR, gene rearrangement aka VDJ recombination. And just for the record, VDJ recombination starts with the beta chain. As the T cells mature, they move through the double negative stages of growth. And even though we call it double negative, it can also be classified by which cell surface markers they do express, namely CD44 and CD25. But let's not get lost in the weeds here. Ah, garden jokes.